The Bible, God's big story. A rescue plan underway. Lesson five: God sends His Messiah. How did the Messiah come to Earth? God's Son came as a tiny baby named Jesus. Jesus was the Messiah that God had promised from the beginning. He would be the one to defeat Satan and rescue us from sin. That's the Christmas story. That's right. In Bethlehem, the angels declared that God's big rescue for all people had begun. Both poor shepherds and rich wise men from far away came to see baby Jesus. Jesus grew up in the town of Nazareth. The Bible says that he grew and became strong. That he was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. What did Jesus do after he grew up? Jesus led a perfect and sinless life. He taught that God loved all people and wanted to include everyone in His kingdom. He taught, so he was a teacher. Yeah, but Jesus also did powerful miracles. He healed the sick, fed thousands of people with just a few loaves of bread and a couple of fish, and calmed a storm with just two words: "Be still." He did even more amazing things. Some people recognized that Jesus was the Messiah that God had promised so many years before. Wait, with Jesus doing all those awesome miracles, why didn't everyone believe he was the Messiah? Well, Jesus also challenged the incorrect teachings of the religious leaders of his day. The crowds loved Jesus, but the prideful leaders didn't want to admit that Jesus was the Messiah. They were angry enough to kill Jesus. But how could they kill the Messiah? Judas, a disciple of Jesus, betrayed him and made a deal with the religious leaders. They gave Judas money, and he led them to Jesus. Then soldiers arrested the Messiah. Arrested? What did they charge him with? After all the good things he'd done, the religious leaders didn't like what Jesus had been teaching the people about himself. They put him on trial. But Jesus would not deny that he was the Messiah, the Son of God. This made the leaders angry. No one was allowed to call themselves the Son of God. It was a crime punishable by death. They turned Jesus over to the Roman authorities to be killed. That's terrible. The Roman soldiers put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head and nailed him to a cross. The angry crowd cheered as they crucified him. Jesus hung on the cross until he died. Jesus died. What kind of rescue is that? Did that mean Satan won after all? Just hold on a second. The story is not done yet. In fact, Jesus' death is an important and necessary part to God's story. What do you mean? Jesus died so that we wouldn't have to. Since Adam and Eve, the cost of sin has been death and separation from God. But Jesus never sinned. Jesus, the Son of God, died in our place on the cross, paying for all of our sins. So is Jesus dying the end of the story? Oh no! In fact, on the third day after Jesus died, he rose from the dead. We call this glorious event the resurrection, and we celebrate it every year at Easter. So Jesus did win. Yeah, he conquered not only sin but also death. Whoa! Jesus crushed Satan's head once and for all, just like God promised in Genesis three verse fifteen. Yes, through Jesus, God forgave our sins and gave us new life. Whoever trusts that Jesus is Lord will live forever with God. So was that the end of God's rescue plan? There is more to the story. After the resurrection, Jesus stayed a short time with his followers and then went up into heaven. Before he went. Jesus told them to share the good news of God's Messiah with all people and to build God's kingdom all over the world. So, if we are Jesus' followers today, does that mean that God's calling us to share that news too and help build His kingdom? Yes, God calls us to be partners with Him in fixing all of creation. The good news is we don't have to do it alone. God gave us a helper. The Holy Spirit.